Hello, hello everybody. We are going to be continuing. Ha, huh. apparently my internet just died. Convenient little bastard, aren't you? <laughs> that is borderline hilarious. I start my stream and immediately, <laughs> the, immediately OBS goes and now we shall disconnect. This is weird because this doesn't really happen that often. This used to happen all the time. Way, way back. Back when my only emote was based on it. The fact that my streams would just die. I guess I'll wait until it comes back. What a way to start. Like, literally, the moment that I start, like, recording and actually, like, ah, I'm gonna load up the game, I'm gonna have things go, immediately it decides to die. And I don't know if that's targeted or not. Alright. Apparently my ethernet had just decided to shit the bed and I had to go to Wi-Fi. Which is stupid. But oh well, I'll check into it later. It's just oh so fucking convenient. The moment that I go to stream, my internet decides to die. Just like on a biblical scale. But either way, that's not going to stop us from playing some more. Assassin's Creed 3. And uh, off screen, I went and uh, did the uh, bonus objectives to the previous memories that the game was bullshit about. Like uh, the one where it was like, ah, kill the snitches before they go and bring reinforcements. You know, when the game didn't inform me of that being a thing. And then later on when it's just like, which was more reasonable to a degree because it's something you wanted to avoid anyway was the don't get hit by line of like a, a line of fire musket fire thing. And uh, but still would have been nice to know that that was a bonus objective because like again, you get thrown into a like a combat scenario. You're not going to... Like, you're going to be focusing on the combat, and everything else is going to be like, bleh. And really, they just should tell you, oh, hey, the bonus objective is right from the start, but they don't. It's like, oh, well, it could spoil the mission. It's like, oh, don't make spoilerific bonus objectives then. But there was one, the, let's see, there was a very wonky one. Ah, yes, the power powder carts. That one is borderline bugged, I'll be honest, because it's meant to take advantage of, like, the reflex shoot system, so you'll be like, ah, I see the glow of the powder keg uh, card, I shoot it, it explodes, but it just didn't want to function. I, it was just a very stupid thing to go through, and apparently it is an issue that has existed since the original game came out in, like, 2013, this is a 10-year-old issue that they have refused to patch even when they remastered the game. They were too busy making new glitches, I guess. But uh, we're going to exit the Animus because uh, I decided that since I was already doing, like, the bonus objectives off-screen that I would uh, go and... Uh, see things. Juno is up there, or whatever her name is. One of the hologram ladies is up there now. So, we're gonna see if she has another thing to say. And I, I like, I don't know if she went up there because I continued the story. Like, I, I, I completely forget, like, uh, when we did the, like, story stuff in comparison to the Desmond stuff. So it's possible that either continuing the story spawned her up here or me doing the bonus objectives spawned her up here. But either way, uh, hey. Never mind. She just decided to spawn up here for no reason. Uh-huh. I thought it would be like, will it do another conversation? It's very weird because 
Hmm. Yeah, that's just weird. Why why would you spawn up here if not to do things? Game. And then she just goes back up there. Is that meant to be a hint? D to do things, game. Are you trying to hint at something? Will the, like, pillar be, like, doable now? Desmond is having a stroke. But, uh, let's see. Uh, can we jump? No. Maybe we try jump from different direction? Who knows, maybe this is borked. Like, I tried to look up, like, Assassin's Creed 3 Desmond stuff, but, like, nothing came up. There was no guides to it. No guides, like, even mentioned the Desmond getting out of the Animus. So I don't know. Yeah, because I doubt jumping from here would do it. It's like, this is weird. Why are you spawned up here now? Why do you exist? Like, I don't, I don't even know about anything. Because it does seem like, I, I, it looked like there was, like, steam coming out of there for a moment. I miss the old games where I could actually climb up something and jump and it would actually, like, mean something. That's not what I meant, game. You fool. We'll mess around here just a little bit longer. Because, again, why did Juno's hologram self come up here? <laughs> I, does that mean something, Juno? Doth it mean something? Nope. I kind of hate that it auto, like, locks on to stuff now. Back in the back in my day of Assassin's Creed 2, you could actually, like, I don't know. It feels like they've removed some of the free-running, like, skill expression, almost. They changed something with it. It feels different. Either that or I'm expecting it to be a thing, but maybe it's not supposed to be a thing. Like, I don't know. But again, why are you here? And then she just disappears. Yeah, come on, Juno, I'll fight you. I'll do a dance into a wall. The best dance anyone ever did see dance. And now, for a moment, I thought that light was Juno. It's like, did Juno go over there? No. This is all just very odd. Because, again, just like, it feels like I, again, it just, it's haunting me. Because it feels like the game meant for me to do stuff. But I, I looked up a guide and no guide said anything about doing stuff out here. At least at the memory that we got shoved out. Nobody really mentioned anything, but I guess nobody cared about, like, the future stuff. But again, Juno's up there for some reason. Seeming to imply that it's like, hey, do something up there. Let's see, Rebecca. Anything? Nope. Hmm. I'm just very confuzzled. Any new emails? I don't think so. I'm just very confuzzled again, cause hologram lady's up there. Like previously, hologram lady would be over there, seemingly to tell me, "Hey, get back into the animus and do things." Hmm. Let's just get back to work, okay? I wish like one of these guys would like tell me, like, "Hey, you can do this or go back in the animus." Again, because she's up there when normally she was by the animus. And and the the wall's gone. The wall's gone. I mean, it's a pretty tall order. The wall is gone! There's, there's, meant, to, less than two there's meant to be a wall here! Decades and a lot more resources. And the worst part is we knew this was coming for, what, hundreds of years? The wall's gone! It seems. What? What? It was so busy with their war against us, no one even noticed what was happening. 
We get advance warning and then fall to fighting with the Templars. Lovely. Hopefully, whatever's behind that door will make a difference. Well, there isn't a door now. Well, it's gone. At least we tried. Everything feels like it is breaking right now. But at least like the lighting, I think. Or is the lighting back to normal? That I could see back here? No, the lighting's still kind of super dark. Super dark indeed. But yeah, why is one of the hologram people up there? When there's like nothing that I can see. Oh, well. Back into the animus I go. It's just hilarious. Originally, she was just, like, constantly standing over here. Now she's constantly up, up there. And I don't know why. This is a very funky entry into the universe. Well, let's go back and be Connor. Sure, he's not called Connor, but he's Connor. I am ready. Let us go. <laughs> we still have meat and skins to collect. I collected a few skins last time unless they got vaporized. Then why do you have a bow? You don't look fat to me. We will make extinct many animals. Find kill and skin a hare. We will find... Well, I guess we should just run ahead. What is the bonus? There is no bonus yet. But I don't trust you. I have to check it every single time anything happens. You're in the way. Time to take aim. I already did. <laughs> Quick cuts, steady and certain. It's all about confidence. Place a snare where hares gather. But if we do that, then they won't gather there anymore. What's this? <laughs> in th in the 2D flowers. That's the perfect place for a snare. Ah, so snares interesting. Oh, I have to hold it. He's already had. Ah, he's setting it. Something's gonna happen to you, isn't it? Something's gonna happen. You're gonna, like, fucking die, aren't you? Certain places are good spots to find animals. Examine clues. To, like... Any bonuses? No bonuses. This is a far more tutorial one, but still. I cannot trust nothing here. Ah, berry bush. Well, tell us where the animals doth be. Hmm. This one we take with the hands? Move carefully. The deer sees us. She will flee. Huh. So we gotta super sneak up on him. I guess. What weapon will we use to kill you with? Alright, you can bait animals to a specific positions, like the bait tool. And then I bat you over the head. 
I don't know what weapon to use to kill you. I assume my... My hatchet. Ah, there we go. The quality of hunting spoils depends on the technique. Alright. And now we head back to check the snares. So, basically, in my own time, I'm going to be spending a lot of time uh, doing hunting in this game, aren't I? They're going to be very important for things, aren't they? Your animal is mine now. At least the Y button is getting, like, uh... Use now. Alright. Both of us must hunt. But we killed a deer and some rabbits. I have faith in you. You are totally gonna die. You are going to die. The Templars are gonna come along... Arisa you you throwing them all at me, okay? At least they're throwing them all at me. Hunt more than one type of animal. Combine bait and snare to catch an animal. And then air assassinate some animals. So more than likely it's like set a snare and set some bait. Or maybe I can set, like, things anywhere. A deer ate some berries from this bush. I need to air assassinate them. This will tell me, hey, hares are nearby. A hare ate some flowers here. Because it wants me to do, yeah, combine bait and snare. Just to double make sure. Nope. I think it should be good. Oh, that brought him over. How do I air assassinate you guys? How do I get... Where's a good tree to get up? It says it wants me to air assassinate. Oh, did I already get one? I'll let you... But basically, I think I can take my time with this one. Oh, not the fox. Poor boy. Oh, that didn't count? Combine a bear, a, a bait, and snare. How do I do that? You didn't tell me that. Hope that counts. Then I'll have... Okay, that one counted for some reason. And then I need to air assassinate two. So I guess I'll throw bait here. And come up here. Air assassinate! Why would you ever air assassinate an animal like that? Yeah, sure, get above them and uh, take advantage of that, but, like, the way you did, c dude, no. You came along at the wrong time, buddy. We'll gather you and then we'll find a hare to kill with a bow. 
Again, I feel like we're being a bit disrespectful by leaving him out like that. I want rabbit. Where's some rabbit? It's wabbit season. <laughs> That's a dead body. Why is one of the animals that we hunt the most are foxes? Poor foxes. Hmm. I want to find rabbit. I think there was like one rabbit. And that's gone. This will be like fox clues, I assume. A deer rested here. And then it tells you where that specific animal was. That's cool. That's a nice system. Sure, it's simple, but it's nice. Yeah, deer ate from that bush. Interesting that, like, the animals don't... Oh! Oh, nope, nope, don't want it. Dang. Good. I missed. I saw a small movement. I'm like, is that the rabbit? I don't want to kill. I don't want to waste animals. While I'm wasting animals. I need to find a clue for a rabbit. Am I here to kill more deer? I've killed my share of deer and fox. Here, rabbit. I want to find a rabbit. There are fox and deer galore, but where's a fucking rabbit? Call me Elma Fudd because it's wabbit season. I see something low to the ground to highlight. I immediately go, should I kill? Why are there so many deer? There are so many foxes, but not a single goddamn rabbit. It's like the game knows. It knows what I want and it refuses to give it to me. You don't need to play this animation every single time I look for a clue. Then again, who knows? Maybe this isn't even an actual mechanic, and this is just for this mission. That is entirely possible. Hello, fox. I don't want to kill you. I already killed uh, two foxes, because uh, the first time... <gasps> Rabbit! Where the fuck rabbit go, motherfucker? This is just like another like marked territory thing. Hmm. Oh. Dang it. There was a rabbit and then it got away again. <gasps> nope, yeah, fox. I'm gonna run out of arrows. Fear me! I could. How many of these guys could I just literally run up on and murder with my bare hands? I see some rabbits. Or at least I saw some rabbits run away. Dang it! No! Why are they all... Oh, because the foxes are hunting the rabbit. You motherfuckers stole my kill. At least that kind of explains it, but man. 
rude. There are so many goddamn deer. Well, that's a fox. So these are little hunting platforms. So many deer, unless I'm blind. And I'm missing all the mysteriously vanished rabbits. Where are all the rabbits? I saw like two. Throughout this entire thing. It did you motherfucker, I think that's you. I think I see you. Damn you. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Uh, rabbit collected. You mysterious little motherfucker. Give me your skin. Hunting will be interesting, but at the same time will also be if there's more like that. Oh, don't show me that. It makes me sad. This is why Ghost of Tsushima's better. Fox are my friends there. Is friend dead? Like, you introduced him. He's dead. Killed by Templars, totally. I still don't have to pronounce your name. <laughs> Damn. I don't think that's a direct translation. Oh! Nice to warn me, bro! I need... I need a good treat. All right. What if I killed the bear instead? Now that would be an interesting bonus objective. Like, I didn't even know we were, like, running from a bear there. I just saw him running. And I... So it's just like, what was the point? What were we running from? You could have easily have done cinematography to show the player that not only was he running, but he was running from. Could have done that game. You could have easily. And the bonus objective should have been to kill the bear. And you almost killed me. <laughs> we should get back. Hopefully the others will understand why our bounties then. We ran into a bear. Good job. That's a lot of rabbits. How? <laughs> he might have left me to die by the bear, but he's a neat little man. He's a good hunter. I do kind of like that there's like a... We just rebuilt on the same land? It was burnt. It's kind of interesting. Hello, children. At least you aren't beggars. It is the good boy. Why, what, why are you giving me a tutorial to pickpocket? In the good lands. Something to remember. What will this quest be? You 
You're not going to throw me onto the fire, are you? Are you going to throw me out of the... Out of the community? Are we going to uh, indulge in some uh, Native American stereotyping uh, through vision quests? Why is it we do not join with the... Ah, so we're pacifists. Are we? And there's war going on. Well, at least that explains why we stayed despite the fire, sacred ground. Oh, and also like the wall, right? Because, yeah, like Connor's mother did say that, like, we're not supposed to tell people about this. Well, I mean, yeah, entering into war would be dangerous. What is it that is in that box? Is it an apple of Eden? <laughs> it's a ghost apple of Eden! With the little... With the little uh, necklace thing in the in there. Well, this is one way to do a vision quest. Ah, this motherfucker. Are you a spirit? Suddenly English. Probably because Juno presence might be translating. <laughs> They're like, they're like, oh, well, we're going to have the uh, the guy who's been speaking this specific Native American language up until this point. But he's going to be conversing with, like, an old one. Instead of forcing the old one, first civilization actor, to uh, learn the Native American language pronunciation, let's just make the Native American characters <laughs> speak some English instead. What it is you now see, it is known as the It's just so sudden. Again, just animus stuff, but still. What path? Yours. Like him suddenly speaking English distracted me more. Follow me. Okay, literally a vision quest. Sure. Avoid midair collisions. If I actually had control, uh, okay, sudden control. What the? Why do I feel like that's slightly racist? We have waited millennia for your arrival. You, you bitch, running through. Bring to him the last piece, that he may open the door. I do not understand. Nor need you. I sense my words cause pain, but such was not my intention. You are important, child, in more ways than I you ever know. I don't see where the midair collisions are. In secret, preparing to seize control of the land. Yep. If they succeed, the sanctuary will be breached. I don't know where the midair collision is. It it ever so slightly nudges me in a certain direction and that just throws all my movement off. It hurts. Yours is a special lineage. Past Present, future, many are connected to you, many who have changed the world, who will change the world. Oh. So too shall you Ezio had to go through, like, his entire life and great tragedy to meet an old one. Meanwhile, Connor just, like, goes out for a hunt, suddenly, hologram ghost lady. Maintaining your current form will result in a negative outcome. Premature 
structure access will destabilize the region. Your village and its people will be destroyed. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it's expecting. I'm just worrying about, like, the, uh, uh the mid-air collisions. Where are those? Quit taking control away from me! What am I to do? Kill. You will learn of a man who will provide additional training. Seek this symbol. Who will it be, my father? You have many questions. Time will see them answered. For now, you must follow. It... The noise. Did I do it? Okay, I did. What was the two mid-air collisions? I didn't even see anything. But okie doke. Again. Him just suddenly speaking English threw me off so much. He turns to the clan mother and said, Yeah, a ghost lady told me we need to do shit. Did they abandon me? Or did I walk away because I got possessed? What happened? Is this another, is this part of the vision quest? He's drawing like the symbol to search out for, right? To remind himself? Yeah, good, because I was just like, why are you going to just play in the sand, man? The vision? Premature access will destabilize the region. So it's like, we have to stay, but you can do stuff. Oh, you are right as well. Uh-oh. The world is changing. Ancient towards some uncomfortable stuff. He wants to protect. She seems nice. Hmm, so you, you saw the symbol somewhere a long time ago. <laughs> but he's a Templar! He Idea! Could it be that uh, Hatham, like, had a falling out with the Templar? Because, because Hatham was all, it's not, a, I don't think it was implied that he was, no, because of the, what they said, Hatham was born to a master assassin, but there was also like a Templar chapter leader who was nearby and twisted his mind to leave the assassins. But then he looked and saw, like, the cruelty of Braddock and other Templar and wanted to leave that. But then he gathered and associated with the other Templar dudes and, like, made them a chapter, a permanent basis, who were also being very cruel. So maybe they fell to temptation and will go and hate them. Either Haytham is going to be a guy we have to fight at the end of the game, or, ha like, that that could be it. Maybe Haytham is just a flippy floppy little bastard, and we'll run into him, and he'll, like, teach us the ways, but then be like, now come join me as a Templar, and we'll have to fight him. Or Haytham has changed his mind on the Templars as well, because the chapter that he made turned out to be a bunch of pricks as well. Because, again, it's just still hilarious to me that they're like, ah, surprise, all these seemingly good guys are actually Templar. And then you go, and the next time we see them, they're harassing a child, choking him out, calling him ignorant and savage, and then presumably burn his village down. 
Unless that was like a complete coincidence. Yours is a noble heart, but I fear you expect too much. Go, seek your symbol, find your way. She seems like a nice elder. It's like, this is our duty. I don't exactly agree with what you're doing, but you have your heart set on it, so here's some advice to help you on your way. Go do what you think is good. I think that might be cool. She is a good lady. And, the, and that fabric she gave me was just floating in the air. A part of... Hmm. Home was than I and back to English. I the was he only speaks his style. native language of when other na <laughs> others are there who can fled, speak it as well. Replaced by questions and no small amount of doubt. Had I been too hasty... Had I made a mistake? The others in the village, they thought this was something I wanted, something I chose to do. But it never felt that way to me. You were chosen. No, it was not a choice. It was an obligation. Because if not me, who then else? Who? I'm kind of starting to like this guy. Hmm. Frontiersman. Interesting. Tavern. Viewpoint. Hmm. And mail. But we'll go along and uh, head the way it wants me to for now, maybe. Like, make sure everything is out of the way, roughly. Ooh, it even tells you. What hunting is in each area, presumably, after you've hunted them some. Because there's map, you can fast travel between cities by zooming out. Logbook, inventory, interesting. I guess since we're there, let's, uh, I think, to the Animus database. Uh, people. Let's read about... Well, I guess we can... <laughs> the Grenadiers. Well, let's just read about all of them. The Abenaki Nation originated in what's now northern New England and the southern Canadian Maritimes. Although suggesting they're only one nation may be, a, may be a bit of a misnomer, since Abenaki can refer to a numerous groups from the same approximate geographic area and language family. I don't know how to say that. Algonquin, since you asked? It's probably horribly mispronounced. Although the various Abenaki would join together during crisis events, like when they were under attack from the other nations, for the most part, they had no central authority. That's probably partly what caused the encroachment of British colonists on their land. The British liked to have formal governments they could negotiate treaties with. It's just so much more civilized, and sometimes there are canopies. So from the colonists' perspective, no central government meant that the Abenaki had no claim to the land. Of course, they could have found out otherwise, but that would have taken taken work and been complicated and, perhaps most importantly, the Abenaki might have said no. Well, the Abenaki tried to remain neutral during the French and Indian War. They were quite literally caught between the warring British and French colonies, so some conflict was inevitable. For the most part, they sided with the French, who were less responsible for driving them out of their homeland. The lesser of two evils, I suppose you'd say. Uh, though that's a sentence I never thought I'd say about the French. Interesting. Lenape? I, again, uh, I think these were said before, but I just... My brain is terrible with English pronunciation, let alone actual pronunciation of other linguistic families. Also called the... that... Oh, the Delaware. Before European colonization, the... They lived mostly along the banks of the Delaware River in what's modern-day New Jersey and Pennsylvania. They were one of the First Nations to come to contact with the Europeans, most significantly with William Penn, who founded Pennsylvania, which was a stroke of luck, given his name. While the, Lin while the relationship with Penn was mostly peaceful, when Penn died, his sons forced most of them off their land in a deal known as the Walking Purchase. 
During the French and Indian War, the they sided primarily with the French, though some individual groups would later leave to join the British. In 1778, they were the first to sign a land treaty with the Continental Congress, agreeing to provide scouts to the army in exchange for supplies. I imagine they simply liked fine cheeses and onions. The newly formed United States showed its gratitude by eventually moving them into isolated communities in Ohio and southern Canada. How wonderfully thoughtful. Yep. And the Shawnee. At least this one is... A bit easier, unless it's completely pronounced differently, and I'm bu butchering their name. At the time of the French and Indian War, the people of the Shawnee Nation were mostly living in and around the Ohio Valley, the territory surrounding Fort... some kind of French word... Duquens. Traditionally, their hunting grounds had extended into Pennsylvania and Virginia, but they were being slowly moved from their lands by the advancing line of British colonization. Hoping to stop, or at least slow, settlement, some of the Shawnee entered the war, siding with their traditional trading partners, that is, the French. It, by 1758, some Shawnee negotiated peace with the British in the Treaty of Easton. However, the treaty wasn't respected, and if you know anything about colonial history, you're probably sadly unsurprised by that. Leading to another war, Pontiac's Rebellion in 1736, 36, 1763. By the time the American Revolution started, many of the Shawnee opted to remain neutral, although some sided with the British, again hoping for help pushing back colonists. Unfortunately, the result was the same as many other indigenous peoples. The Shawnee were forced to leave their lands, with the majority eventually settling in Oklahoma. Good lord, settling in Oklahoma. As if their story couldn't get any worse. The Committee of Correspondence. Since the American Revolution happened in the dark days before there was the internet, and even before telephones, organising colonial opposition to the British was a little tricky. I don't want to make you cry, but these clowns didn't even have dial-up. The solution was to send out riders bearing letters to inform colonists in other areas what was going on. These became known as the Committees of Correspondence. Correspondence being a fancy name for letters. If you did not know, this is, I was this I am amazed you have ever read this far. Actually, I'm amazed you even can read this far. Samuel Adams created one of the first Committees of Correspondence in Boston in 1772. In particular, he wanted to keep people outside of Boston informed about town meetings, so the governor couldn't invite only his friends to meetings. There would be less a meeting and more a dinner party. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Adams' committee worked so well that everyone started doing it. Eventually, all the colonies had their own committees focused on presenting a united front against British-imposed taxes and supporting boycotts of British goods. Really, Adams should have patented the idea. Could have made a fortune. British Regulars British regulars were the foot soldiers of the British Army. You'll also hear them referred to derisively as redcoats because of the redcoats they wear as part of their uniforms. I bet you didn't see that coming. Or lobster backs because of their huge, deadly pincers. Or still because of the redcoat thing. I can't remember which. Regulars in the colonies were notoriously underpaid, and many looked for work outside of their army duties to make ends meet. Of course, their room and board was paid by the government, meaning they could charge lower than average rates for their work. Since unemployment was high in Boston before the revolution, you can imagine this made the Redcoats rather unpopular among people that were taking work from. That and their huge deadly pincers. That's amusing to me. You're a fun man, Sean. Grenadiers were originally the soldiers in charge of throwing grenades, hence the name. They were chosen for being tall, muscular, and fearless. Not only did they need the strength to throw grenades far enough to actually injure the enemy, they had to be brave or stupid enough to stay in the front lines of battle to do it. Grenadiers were also called upon to be fast, effective assault troops, helping with things like stormy breaches during sieges. You know, all the standard easy jobs that are likely to get you killed. By the mid-18th century, grenades had fallen out of favour, but grenadiers were still regarded as elite regiments, called on to guard the right flank of their battalions, and still to do all the other dangerous work they had gotten a reputation for. An interesting note on the hats, they were made high and narrow, so as that's not to get in the way while you were throwing grenades, which is a good feature to have. Eventually, the mitre hat became part of the standard dress uniform in numerous armies. It's also possible grenadiers just really dig the idea of looking like the Pope. History's mute on that point. You're a funny man. Let's see, Charles Lee, don't care, Benjamin, Benjamin Church, don't care, George Washington. Oh, we can at least read George Washington. <laughs> Excuse me? 
Here's a name even you should recognize. George Washington, who will go on to be the leader of the army during the American Revolution and the first president of the United States. I was going to say you probably know everything I'm going to tell you, but that would be a lie. What you know is that George Washington has a lot of things named after him. And anything else you learned in school you forgot because you thought you'd never use it in real life. You should call your history teacher and tell her she was right all along. George Washington was the son of a planter from Virginia. He was raised with little education, but was ambitious, teaching himself mostly from books. Washing, wa washing <laughs> started in business early, speculating on land, starting at the age of 18. When he was 20, his older brother died, leaving him the heir of the family plantation at Mount Vernon, where he lived until his death and where you can still visit his grave today. Washington got his military start during the French and Indian War, leading to an expedition to Fort de Canesc, or however you say that French word, in 1754, a destination he never reached, having surrendered at Fort Necessity. The next year, Washington headed to Fort de Canesc again, this time as a guide for Edward Braddock during the ill-fated Braddock expedition. Washington went as a volunteer, hoping that working for Braddock would get him a track to military promotion. Though the battle was a rout, Washington earned credit for organizing the retreat, and later that year, he was made a colonel in charge of the Virginia Minita Militia. Washington completely revamped the militia with hopes that under his organization and training, they would be accepted into the British Army. They never were. Washington resigned his post in 1758. I won't say the snub led to his contempt for the British, but it snubs surely help. Uh, rarely help. By the late 1760s, Washington had become active in political life, taking on a role in the Virginia House of Burgesses? Burgers! The House of Burgers. He went on to be a member of the Continental Congress, and when war broke out in 1775, he was Congress's choice to lead the army. At the time, Washington said, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with, which I'm sure inspired complete confidence in everyone who heard it. Imagine if you were on an airplane and the captain opened with that. It's possible Washington was being falsely modest, but the fact is, he wasn't a military genius and he knew it, though I'm sure it hurts your American pride to hear me say it wasn't perfect. Washington had several narrow misses where the army could have easily been obliterated, at Manhattan and again at Brandywine, among others. Washington won an early victory. He broke the siege of Boston, but he then made the disastrous move of fortifying New York, a city he could defend without a navy he didn't have. Even you can work that one out. He spent the latter half of 1776 retreating across New York and New Jersey, losing battle after battle until Christmas, when he pulled off a successful surprise attack, the Hessian troops at Trentian. When he pulled off a successful surprise attack, the Hessian troops at Trenton. That seems like improperly worded. Meh. And while that battle makes for some famous paintings, and it did rally the flag in confidence of the public... It was a minor victory in the war. Interesting. Benjamin, Pitcairn, Edward Braddock, updated. How have you say this name? A friend of, how have you say that name, from the same village. The two boys were the same age and members of the same clan, making them cousins. Though the connection may be somewhat distant, the boys were inseparable throughout their childhood, with that name being the more conservative of the two. That is, that name would be the one to get them in trouble, and that name would try to talk them out of it. Silas Thatcher, and this name. That name was a member of the Bad Name Nation, living on the frontier lands near Boston at the time of the French and Indian War. Assassin records indicate she was the daughter of Bad Name or Clan Mother, and from an early age was being groomed for leadership herself. While many in her community chose to ignore the incursions by colonists into the area and growing tensions between the French and British, that name was convinced that they presented a very real danger. She began to argue to anyone who would listen that the village should take action rather than staying silent, which was contrary to the will of the clan chiefs at the time. She refused to follow their orders or to remain neutral, deciding to fight back in her own way and recruiting help where she could get it, including from Haytham Kenway. That name's actions during the Braddock expedition, along with her relationship with the known Templar more or less excluded her from becoming clan mother herself in adulthood. However, it seems even after her child was born, she continued arguing for action in the war, rather than the restraint advocated by the village elders. She did, however, cut off all contact with Haytham. It's not clear why the Templars attacked in 1760, or what their objective might have been. The village was nearly destroyed, but recovered over the course of several years. Interesting. Oh, well, I guess let's get a move on, I suppose. Brawler challenges? What? 
Uh, okay. There are challenges. Uh, notification. DNA trackers. That's probably here in side missions. Let's see. Boston Brawler membership. Apparently it's at 100% already. So these are... Complete the Boston Brawlers tasks. It'd be nice if you told me what those were. Like, I know they popped up, but... Huh. There was just... A, a load of... Boston Brawlers just popped up. So it's just like, ah, Boston Brawlers. Animus database. Alright. I guess let's go to there. Uh, not exactly what I wanted. I wanted, like, information on those challenges. Huh. Very well. Let's sneak up on this mountain lion. Oh. Assassinate! From above! Cougar discovered. So I guess you're the final one for this area. I already killed, like, two of you in the same area. I wonder why you weren't activated. There's a, a trophy? There's a trophy. Didn't even think I could climb that tree. I do like the smoothness of, like, the... Like, whatever you call this, adventuring? Hmm. Well, let's go to the map and see what this is. Uh-huh. Legend. Is there a legend? Legend! What is the trophy? Peg leg trinket? Is it down there? It's probably down there. Oh, nope, I see it down there. I'm gonna head for it, if maybe. If at all possible. It's hard to tell what is and isn't climbable on this. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm floating on sunshine. And this game sent me to my death. Why would I be able to climb there, then, game? You bastard. I wanted to get the peg leg. Why'd you have to put it on a little outcropping down there? Uh. Hello? If you're looking for the hunting cabin, you're almost there. Over there. Alright. Thank you, dude. Just a random guy sees a man out and about who's just like, Hello there. I'm going to point you in the right direction. Like, sure. Yeah, like, the nature climbing is vastly improved. Granted, because they probably had to add it for this game. Maybe if I just jumped for it? Oh! Definitely not the way you're supposed to do it, but fuck it. I am a god. You dare put that there? F fuck your meaning. I, I do what I want. I see a little outcropping, I go fuck you and I do it my own way. And I did it my way. I wonder if they got rid of, like, the armor system for this game. I could see that. Ah, hunting society. The dude met me over here. Frontiersman, feather. I'm gonna go get that feather. You know what? Uh, 
Yeah, that's a bit far away. Need to find a way up down. I need to find the power of up dog. This will be interesting to explore the wilds, at least. Compared to all the other Assassin's Creed, the wilds were just very boring. I'll just run up on some animals and bash them in the head. Can't wait to get my Assassin, like, hidden blades, though. Definitely feels like that was a... Reflex shot! Reflex shot! Your body is mine. Oh, there's a... There's an enemy. I don't see movement at all. It's, uh... Oh! <laughs> they just spawned in. Hello, British. I don't like the British! Have to relearn the combat. It's been like a day. Oh, the game didn't even give me a chance to <laughs> counter that. It says something about open conflict, which I don't care about. I'm here for murder. They're British. Nobody cares. There's lots of British people. And plus, while I might be a half-white... Which still is highly amusing to me now. I can't just let... Like, and... I, it's like, it's hard to word it. Because, like... It's just amusing that we start with a white guy who's basically a white savior for a moment. But then the son that he didn't even help raise gets to be the protagonist. Boy who cried wolf. Oh, there's a mission here. I guess we can start the mission. We was eight months in the Kentucky frontier, trapping and skinning elk. Well along my third bale when they came upon us. No less than a dozen Shawnee hunters had us surrounded at the point of musket and arrow. Do they even use muskets? Froze up stiff. The fear chilled me the same, but I managed to muster what little Shawnee I was knowing. The leader spoke too quick, but I gathered we was poaching. Having crossed into their territory a month or so hence, their musket barrels stared us down, the heads of their arrows smiling sharp at our backs. I bumbled a proposition and busted Shawnee. Our full peace, my three bales, and my partner's two less a half, in exchange for us quitting the Shawnee bush on our own legs. Leader nods to his boys. They load up our take and start back into the trees. So what do you want me to do? Show stays a spell longer, just staring, staring right through us with his two black eyes. That's and a bit racist. We picked up, set back east the way we came. Months of profit lost, but our own hides intact. Never saw the Shawnee again, but I know they was following us. I could feel their eyes on our backs, clear to North Carolina. Is this just a story? Uh. Oh, that's just more missions. Like, uh, okay, that's a... Okay, kind of interesting. Did that just unlock more that I can look at, maybe? I don't even know where to find them in here. Like, I'd like to be able to actually look at what those... Like, uh, 
many missions are just to be like, hey, what is it that you're looking for? And I, I, I like, because I'd like to be able to be like, hey, what's the little things I'm missing? Well, great. Okay, sure. I guess I don't get to know. And there's more frontiersmen, and, uh, alright, I guess we can go there, and then I guess collect that out of the feather, maybe, and then try to head back that way. I'm just trying to understand. I don't like that they're like, here are some challenges, and then the challenges just can't be found anywhere. You can never look upon your... But then again, I guess we can, like, come across them, like, if we do them, but a lot of them seem to be one and dones. Which I guess I could just look them up. Well, here's a dead guy. Explore corpse found. No duh. You just gonna show me a wolf? Is it just going to get the jump on me? Okay, sure! I'm going to loot you now. That's what you get. You bastard! Okay, sure! Bobcat. Why was there a bobcat and a wolf? Did I kill its friend? Die. Quit sending monsters after me. I only have so many arrows. I just came up here to look. Darn you. Or are you going to come around so I can kill you? Uh... Bastard! Why did you go for me and not anything else? I wanted to air assassinate you. Game, I guess. I air assassinated you. This is madness. Australia has invaded America and all the animals and people are killing each other. This is a very glistening elk. There's just elk all around. <laughs> and another enemy animal has come to face me. Climb in. Climb in. Come fight me, bitch. You won't. Come on, AI. Glitch out so I can kill you. Ha-ha! Something's happening with the shaders. The vision is flickering all over. Climb up, grab that. Feather and synchronize and hope that it doesn't break the sound again. Random animal noises scare me. But if I come around and... What if I... Dang it. I wanted to sneak attack you. In fact, I just... I just bitch slap the bobcats to death. The other ones I actually, like, stab. Like, with a hidden blade I don't have, I think. I guess we go back to the frontiersman. Okay, and then I'll go grab that and then make my way. <laughs> this place is confusing! And random dead rabbit. When did- when did you die? When did- who killed this rabbit? If hunting was this easy, just walk out into nature, get attacked by everything, counterattack. Oh, you- it's for revenge! 
Yeah, I, I don't have a, a hidden blade yet. I don't have a hidden blade yet. How am I doing this with the power? <laughs> Obviously, this is just more racist tropes to the Native Americans with the power of Connor's Native American power. He just sends anti-life vibrations through the elk, killing it instantly. Because I don't have a hidden blade yet! Finding the Sasquatch, okay. Uh, but I'm in the area, I guess. I, I guess, sure, why not? It stands upright as a man, but its whole body is covered in thick pelt. Its gait is slow and lurching. I've seen it with my Is it a bear? It's clever. Always at a distance, or with something between us, like it knows where I'm going to be before I get there. If things go missing where it goes, that much is certain. Is it just oh, a hairy man it's stealing your it's shit? It's a man's prized buck antlers clear off its cabin wall. It takes kills out of traps, too, wrenching them open with its big mitt. Somebody should find it and bring back its head for the whole world to see. Okay, at least this one has, like, some substance to it. I have no idea what, like... Oh, great. A peg leg was found. Grab the peg leg, then that. And then we'll just, like, head on my way, I guess. Like, I have no idea what that initial one was, like, Boy Who cl Cried Wolf. And he was just like, ah, oh, yeah. We were hunting... Oh, bastard motherfucker! I'm just going to run into the wilderness. And the bobcats are going to fall from the fucking sky. Come at me, wolf. Again, with Connor's Native American mind, he sends anti-life. He doesn't need... <laughs> he doesn't need a hidden blade. He just thrusts out his wrist, and they die. I'm gonna have so many wolf pelts just because they jump out at me. I just happen along them. The first time it was shocking. The cougar, yeah, sure, that was scary. Now it's just like, ah, oh, another one? Who needs to be a good hunter when you can just survive? So let me guess, it's another cave entrance. Ah, right here. That's not what I want. Was there going to be a bear? For a moment, I thought it was a person burning in there. So it's not a peg leg, huh? Sadness. I cannot enter buildings. This is not Red Dead Redemption. We're going to go grab that other feather and then head back on our way to where we need to go. Honestly, if Red Dead Redemption 2 played more like this, I'd probably like it more. It's way too slow, in my opinion, Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, it's fine, but... I don't know. I feel like it shouldn't have been open world. At least from, like... Because uh, I, I forget the exact amount that I played it as. I played a decent chunk of it. But it's just like... The mo like, there was just something about it. That just didn't really make it for me. Like, what it had was good, I suppose. But it's just like... 
felt plotting at times. Like, the gameplay wasn't all that great for me. It felt like it was trying to be too, like, GTA, I guess. This is just hilarious. With the power of Native American anti-life mind powers, he injects death into the wolves. I'm gonna have... I don't hunt elk. I am hunted by wolves and bobcats. And therefore I attain all I need from them. And other times elk are just stupid. But yeah, I feel like just like Red Dead Redemption 2, like it's probably great. But it just ain't for me. Ah, oh, dang it, I ran into a wall. Well, it's just telling me. Well, it's just telling me in my one arrow. I, a bobcat is like the last thing I need to hunt. Unless I get more for, like, sneaking up on it. Like, from the air. Oh, motherfucker! That's not nice. He didn't give me proper amount of time. Again, I do not hunt bobcats. Bobcats hunt me. Right as I finish skinning one, another leaps at me to kill me. I then skin the rock. They try to sink me there with their minds. They failed. You get back here. I murder. I am the murder god. But yeah, it's just like... There's too much plotting in Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, it makes... I feel like it's too hung up on realism and... Like, ah, systems and stuff. Just like, be fun. That's all you need to do. Be fun. And sure, put some... Yeah, like, put some effort into it. But it just felt, like, too restrictive. Like, I wish you could, like, at least get, like, a hunting wagon. And then be like, ah, s like, skin this animal. And then you just put it onto the hunting wagon. And then you don't have to worry about it anymore. It just, like, goes into the inventory. But no, ev you have to micromanage everything. And it's bleh. Just not for me. Hmm. I have to get up there somehow. Which I suppose this is the way. Well, that's not what I wanted at all. Thanks for not killing me, game. So yeah, it's, uh, it's probably an odd thing to say, but I think that Red Dead Redemption 2... Would have been better for me if it was more video gamey. And didn't try uh, realism. It's also weird that it felt like it wasn't made for saves. Like, yes, it has saves, but it's just a pain to reload everything. Because if you die, you lose your shit. It's not nice. Leave me alone, Bobcat. I'm here for a feather. Are those leaves at the bottom of this that I can jump into? Like, I assume so, but you can never tell. Whee! That should have killed you. Straight up. Should have killed you. Like, that would not have been able to be done by Ezio or Altair. Maybe Haytham. 
because he's a white man in a story featuring Native Americans. And the world is evil like that. I still, like, again, it's such a baffling story decision. Come on, I'll kill you. And then they run away. Slopes. But it's just like, again, why did the Templars, who are like supposedly decent guys before, suddenly become super monsters who burn down a village? Is it be It's probably because Haytham, like, left them, didn't they? They were looking for, for like, petty revenge, maybe. But then the question is, why did Haytham leave them? It was only a handful of years since he... I, I can't just, like, normally attack the rabbit. No, I can. Booyah. Who needs arrows? I can just... Wig out the, the AI. That is how I roll. Weirdly. Deal with me. Uh... I would like to buy your wares. For a moment, I thought he actually wouldn't. What do I have to sell? Apparently, I can sell everything. I don't even know what these are, like, used for. So I have a perfect condition. Apparently, I have a lot of good conditions. Considering how easy they are to... Like, sell. Or, like, get. Yeah, I'm not selling you my... Eh, since we only have three, no. They're not selling good. Heart, no. Venison, yes, apparently. Apparently deer pelt goes for good, so we'll sell, sell some of our deer pelt. Uh, why was there a... I don't even know what that was. There was like an apple of Eden out there. In the ether. Elk meat, elk pelt. Like, see, there in the background, what is that? How do I get it? Basically, it needs to be something that I'm in abundance of. He doesn't even want deer tails. Can I click it? What is that? Is it representative of me? He only sells consumables. Could snuck up on arrows, I suppose. Snares. I have snares, bait, then, yeah. Goodbye, sir. Oh. Again, what is with that? It feels like I should be able to click it. What are you? And apparently that was the thing. I didn't even know, because the game won't let me look at the challenges. It'll tell me the challenges exist, but they won't tell me what the fuck they are. It's like, there are laws here. Can I look at what the laws are? No. You're not allowed to actually know. We just flash the laws in front of your face when you get here. And that's the most you get to see of them. If you don't know them after that, it's your memory's fault. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just running on my way. There's some enemies I might have to kill. That guy has to die. He's probably fucking British. Come on, just a bit closer. Damn you. If only I had a gun. I'm coming for you, little man.
I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him for what he did. Existing in British land. I don't know how to whistle, apparently. I don't know who you are. But don't worry, you didn't know who you were either. I'm gonna take your gun, and I'm gonna kill your buddies with it, probably. Like, seriously, why was there just a random guy here marked as an enemy? That I was able to kill, and now how the hell do I get back up? I think I made a mistake. <laughs> was he a beginner's trap that, like, no Assassin's Creed player would give up the opportunity to kill a man? And they were right. But nature will save me. Apparently I dropped my musket. Damn. And I just got it after killing a guy. I killed a guy for that musket. That makes it important. Would be hilarious if he respawned right as I went by. Seriously, what was your guy? What was that guy's deal? He's just some random guy marked as an enemy. I decided to kill him. And that's that. That guy, as an NPC, could have had his, old, his own story. I also probably could have fast-traveled here, but then I wouldn't have been able to activate the Sasquatch mission and then abandon it immediately after because it wanted to send me in a completely different direction. Why am I only able to walk now? Am I going to be attacked? Get out of the way. After him. <laughs> what? Old man's... Uh... Okay. Traveled to Davenport Homestead. Was that, like, part of the story? Or was that a random event or what? Let's go to Davenport. I'm confuzzled. So this is just more random area. Oh, neat. You can filter things. So there's collectible over there. That's like, hey, there's... Fr oh, Frontier. And there's a bunch of collectibles. Interesting. Yeah, because this is the... Hmm, yeah. Interesting. Well, I guess I'm going to go get that peg leg trinket. So there was a poacher guy. So it was just a log there. Very interesting. It kind of harkens back to... No, not really. I was going to say kind of harkens back to uh, Assassin's Creed 1, but not really. The other... Some other Assassin's Creed games have had like, ah... Map transitions. It's not what I wanted at all. How dare you, game? How dare you assume my relationship with that tree? That peg leg will be mine. As will the life of any British man that I come across. Because it's just how this world goes. I keep wanting my hidden blade. Come nearer so I can use you as a crash pad. Crash pad! <laughs> Through the power of crash pad, I win. Are you ready to run? Are you ready to run? You cannot escape me! Fear the power of my running legs! <laughs> Again, I, this is hilarious that I can still do that despite not having the hidden blade and they just assume, I guess, that you'd have the hidden blade at the beginning of the game. Peg leg is mine. Whatever that is. It says it's a peg leg trinket. Huh. 
At least, like, the countryside is kind of nice. It feels lush, kind of open, but well populated with, like, things, vegetation, trees, and stuff. Especially because, like, all the other Assassin's Creed's have taken place in cities, and with only very... Is that a motherfucking beaver? Time to kill beaver, boys! I'm gonna hop towards you, little man! You cannot escape me! <laughs> up. Up. Deja vu. And now it's floating. Okay. I do like the kind of just like... I'm bouncing in the river animation. It is neat that they have, like, variable, like, waiting animations. That's very nice. I Me, mean, if I were a video game developer and they'd be like, hey, you have to have variable waiting, I'd put, like, three overall. Like, knee height, kind of waist height, then swim. But I felt like there was multiple. Oh, is that... Hmm. I wonder if the, uh, like, kind of interconnected ghost trail things are telling me that there's, uh, like, movement options in the trees. <coughs> Excuse me. Very interesting. But not pine trees. Pine trees are unclimbable. The elk are screaming. Lady. That might have hurt my knees. But it's gonna hurt these beavers a lot more. <laughs> Alright, Superman jump for no reason. If I find any animals, I will stab it with my anti-life powers. There was noise. But it shall live because it was in the trees. What the hell? Odd. That was very odd. But I have a trinket to get. And maybe animals to kill. And somehow that didn't damage me. It's because I rolled. And there's just a box here. Trinkets. Homestead. And I guess I have to... Just me. Doing a terrible job of, like, planning out my way around this place to make it efficient. I just see Trinket and I immediately beeline toward it. Da-da-da-da. Da-da-da. Da-da-da-da. Da-da-da-da. da 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 I hear you, animal. You live for today. What are you, a duck? If you keep making noise, I'll come back and kill you. It's you, wasn't it? Quit making noise and die. Now your soul is mine. What's the conversion rate between human and uh, beaver souls? Are they like cents? A hundred beavers equal a person? Hello, you fool! <laughs> the power of my anti-life wrist tells you die. That joke is going to die the moment that I get my hidden blade, but that's future me's problem. That, that like, falling feather light fluff thing. 
or like whatever it is, it's white, kind of shiny, and falls in the camera sometimes. I thought that it was like, I don't know, an animal. I was prepared to kill it. But it's an animal. And those like flowers rose up from the ground as I got towards them. I know it's a basic thing, but it just amuses me. Why does that tree look ominous? Uh, don't be on a cliff. You just have to climb. Tree noises disturb me. Hmm. I don't think I can climb that tree. I could probably climb the the V shape. Ah, oh, it's just a blocked off area. How dare you? Is it because it's like an important pass and if you didn't put it in there, geography buffs would be like, Yeah, they didn't put the important pass in. How lazy. Probably. I could see that. This trinket will be mine. I will find you, trinket. I am the original mountain climber. I will get into Smash Brothers. I do kind of like that automating the run, at least, allows you to, like, uh, not fall into doom too much, is what it feels like. Ah, nice. Birds. How dare. One of these days, it would be hilarious for it to just go, Oh yeah, a leap of faith, then you jump, and then you land, there's a pause, then you just hear your character screaming in agony. I think that would be funny. And I guess we'll head by the homestead, I guess. You wanna fucking go? You wanna fucking go? What the fuck? You can't get me, I am a god. Apparently you can't get me because your teleportation abilities are god, like, and then your dead body knocked me off. Uh, arrow. And they all joined me on Pride Rock. Just wild animals out of nowhere here to kill me. They are defenders of the land. Too bad. I will be the one defending the land now that I have killed them. Yeah, and those are probably just like the ghost line saying, hey, climb tree and move about here probably. A horse? Ah, oh, man. Hello? Um... I'm going to guess that... The poacher is the guy we're looking for. So that confirms what I... I, I thought. That was actually part of the story. And we're going to learn who it is, maybe. At this, that was a, there's a coach. It was like a low-res butterfly. I don't know why I'm here. A boorish man. Knock, knock. If you're a poacher, I'm here to kill you. <laughs> Where is that, like, symbol? Did he take it off the door? Go away. I'm not leaving. I'll camp out on your front lawn. Yeah, like, where is the symbol? I didn't see it. 
Again, unless it took it off his door. Like, who is Achilles? What, am I going to steal his horses? Achilles Davenport. Well, I guess we can... Hmm. Ah, but the other collectible man? But it's like across the way. There's a fucking cra crashed ship here. I mean, I guess I could swim. There are not sharks in this game. Uh, but there's not an easily accessible beach, so that would be annoying. Fine, we'll continue with the story. Collectibles on my mind. Oh, take shelter in there. Why not steal? Place to camp. This should do. I will set up my my camp in this man's stable. I will hobo his home. I will sleep with my eyes open. Like, who is this guy, Achilles Davenport? Maybe I should have read. Just break into his house. He'll fight you. That's basically training. Where was I even keeping that? That's a big bedroll. <laughs> the day after. <laughs> Convince them. Do I have any bonuses? No bonuses yet. They're all going to be thrown at me again, which I still prefer. But uh, <laughs> it still would be nice to have them thrown at me at the beginning. The knocking does not match. There must be another way in. <laughs> well, he's literally taking my advice. Just break in. Why not stay, stay home at his other place? Live in his shack. He'll never know what hit him. But since we're heading that way anyway, let's go even further past it and then come back later. I don't know where the game is going to send me. I want that final collectible for this area. You think they put the collectible on the ship? And again, I still don't see like where the symbol is on that guy's house. It's like I was told you could train me. Then again, the person that told you that he could train you was the ghost vision lady. Why do we trust her? Then again, why would anybody trust the Vision people? They destroyed the world. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Screw your AI! I am God! Can't begin your quick time event if I jump at you, can't you? But I'm going to assume that this place becomes the homestead, and you can do a bunch of shit here. Can I fix up that boat and turn it into my navy? But we're going to make our way back around, break in the back. Hold the guy at knife point saying, give me heart surgery or I'll kill you. That'll totally make him want to do the heart surgery. That's the perfect way to train. Why train when you could just get heart surgery and become a god? Just go full on Kakuzu and plant a bunch of hearts into you. I wonder if this is part of my training. I need to break in. Please, all I ask is a moment of your time. I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention <laughs> to deceive, so let me try to clarify. 
Get the hell off my land. Lol. Coming up. He was like, what? Do you lock your balcony door, little man? I like that he announces it. He does lock his balcony. I'm afraid of anything. Least of all a self-important little scab like you. You just let that happen, boy. Oh, you might dream of being a hero. Of riding to rescues. Of saving the world. I don't even know who you are. This course, and the only thing you're gonna be is dead. But you're alive, so teach me how to live. The world's moved on, boy. Best you do, too. But a ghost told me to do this. Do I try the other balcony? Leave, do you hear me? I'm never leaving. And that is how Achilles That's Davenport <laughs> earned himself just a random guy. Well, let's go to the... No, not notification center. Animus database. Who is this guy? You may not think it to look at him now, but this man was once the mentor of a powerful branch of the assassins. The Colonel... The... Yeah, Colonel Brotherhood. Achilles' life before he was an assassin isn't well documented. It seems that most of the records were destroyed within Templars and nearly wiped out the order in 1763. From what I do have, Achilles was recruited in the mid-1730s and became a mentor in 1746. He had a gift for both recruitment and organization, so before long was head of the crew of assassins that spanned the colonies and much of the frontier. Achilles strengthened the ties between the order and the nations of the Iroquois Confederacy, particularly the, however you say that name, though as far as our records show, Connor is the first Native American to actually become an assassin. Interesting. I also find it funny that they just call him Connor. I will not be defeated so easily. Just camp out on his roof. Make him hear you. But again, you do—you you totally just let the guy trip you with his cane. You will train me. You have to. You underestimate my. Oh, is it the poacher guys? Who are they? These are square toes. This will be easy. Oh, they're the poachers. Yeah. No one you need concern yourself with, little britches. Best cut for something bad happens. No. <laughs> no. Can't say we didn't warn you. I'll just take you out with my hands. How dare you? Oh, that's just racist. How dare you? One second. This it's not what I wanted. Oh, ah, it works. How dare you? I'm still used. I instinctively go to like the initial. Like Perry from the first games. <laughs> Again, because <laughs> I'm using a sword. I kill him with my anti life touch. He came with me for shillelagh? You working for the old man then? Is that it? Maybe this will get you talking. Oh, dead. <laughs> he came at me for fucking shillelagh. It's like, yeah, sure. I kind of did make it. I suppose we should talk. He's like, oh, he stopped an ambush from coming for me. I might as well. Oh, and there was a bonus objective that entire time that I missed. How dare you. 
And they didn't even make me do all the clean up the bodies. Who were those? <laughs> Rude. Saved the good chair for himself. <laughs> Sorry. Not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. Anyway, who are you? My name is Rado Hangado. Rado Hangado. Well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> now, tell me why you're here. A vision told me. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. <laughs> and yet, here you are. The spirit said that, that These I am... spirits of yours have been harassing the assassins for centuries. Oh, so the assassins actually the assassins knew about them. Uncork the bottle. Uh, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? Well, best settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. That's kind of interesting that this guy knows what Ezio went through, but we didn't. Like, Sean, Rebecca, they didn't know. Lucy didn't know about the ancient lady. So, this is why the assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Oh. I have no doubt you'll try. <sighs> Come on. I have something to show you. Is it some assassin gear? Careful. Uh, wasn't a joke when I said this place was coming apart. It looks well constructed and it's probably only Why been here for a repair? decade or so. How's it already? <laughs> Eternal hell. Point. Besides, I don't have materials for the job. So I'm going to bring you the materials. Go buy them. <laughs> Look at me. You think I can just march into some store purse full of pounds and go shopping? Yeah, because you... Yes. Why not? Because they were after him. so naive. I was going to... For a moment, I thought he was going to walk through the wall. This way. Because, yeah, this place can't be that old, can it? Doesn't even look like it's falling apart besides from the furniture. Don't cask of Amontillado me. Very nice outfit. <laughs> You can just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin. I did not. I would never presume. That's all right. <laughs> I know they've... Uh, they look cool as shit, so I understand. I'm already killing things with a hidden blade. Very it's well. so hidden it doesn't even exist. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Because of the heel? Why do you have a painting behind that? We've worked to do. <laughs> it's just like a bunch of wood. Hatham Grandmaster. Oh, these are the targets. Ah. Living in the dirt like animals. They burn my to the true ways of the world. Neat. What do the Templars want? What they've always wanted. Control. They see an opportunity in the colors. So I'm just going to like remove more wooden boards to reveal more targets that are relevant. Chaos of the past. This is why they back the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs. A people in service to the principles of order and structure. 
I have seen what it's become if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Throw them in prison. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole I guess together. he told him that Hatham was his father while they were talking. Interesting. Booyah. Full synchronization. So I trained in running. Six months fighting, later. In fighting and falling. Memento unlocked. And for every lesson that concerned the body, there were two that concerned the mind. Language, philosophy, logic, the arts. Achilles taught most often of the assassins and Templars. Their structures, origins, and purpose. Something's gonna be here someday. Of history condensed into a few short days. I told him and those are all the other outfits I'm gonna be able to get. Of Charles Lee and my promise to him. Achilles explained that Lee and his followers were Templars, and that they were led by none other than my own father. If I was to serve the order, these men would become my target. They all so must die. Harder, learned faster, but for all my progress. It was clear that I still had much to learn. My training had only just begun. Well, let's see all the outfits we have. All of them. But I already did unlock that, I'm fairly certain. At least I clicked it, I'm fairly certain. It was like, oh, I was locked behind the club, even though I'm fairly certain that I did, unless they took that option away for some reason. But some of these... <laughs> Well, we're going to have a fun time in the future. Ooh, that's cool. We can become a pirate before other things. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> the little hat. <laughs> Baix? I don't even know who you are. Shay Cormac. Hmm. Huh. Jacob. Edward Kenway. Did they... Oh, because... Ah, this is like a... Oh, interesting. Very interesting. They backported, I think, a few outfits into the remaster, I guess. Maybe. Unless I'm dumb. I exit into the world. <laughs> Did the door stay open because of a glitch? Well, the world was bright white outside, so it wasn't a lie. Hello, sir. I'm here. Good morning. To you as well. What is the day's offerings? You taking a trip? I've decided to do something about the house, and you're going to help me. Get it? Very well. <laughs> so you're going to drive while I get the carriage. That's kind of funny. Ah, oh, we don't even get to, we don't even get to see it. We just experience doom. And I've worn the same outfit every day for the past six months. Boston, 1770. Don't stare. It's rude. Sorry. Come on. Without entering this conflict. Incredible. The people, the sounds and smells. I could walk these streets for days and know not even half its wonders. I thought the same as you upon a time. These days I cool music playing the quiet of the countryside. But there is so much life here. So many opportunities. For a few, my boy. For a few. Very interesting. I do enjoy the music. There's a store close to here. You're to buy the items on this list. Tell them where the carriage is, and they'll see that it's loaded. Interesting. Understood? 
Yes. Good. You're also going to need a new name. Your skin is fair enough <laughs> that you can pass for one with uh, Spanish or Italian blood. That's funny. Better to be thought a Spaniard than a native. Racism, my boy. Better still than I. And that is not true. What's true and what is aren't always the same. What would you call me then? Connor. Yes. That will be your name. <laughs> he just walked through him. All right, then. Off you go. And that's just how he gets his name, kind of unceremoniously, but hey. Can I just steal this? No, it's just there. Super cool. Seeing Boston like this. I find that kind of funny that that's a bit of a plot point. Oh, there's the classic, don't tread on me. And then everybody for the next five billion years is going to misuse it. To be like, don't tread on me while I tread on other people. It's basically what it's amounted to over the years. Bunch of grapes? What? Oh, I'm, I keep hitting B. I'm sorry, sir. It's not what I wanted. You forced me hand. <laughs> Apparently somebody's happy with my performance. Where'd it go? It moved to the other goddamn place? I don't like these. I grow tired of this. It seems each day a new tax is levied, a new rule enforced, all without our consent. The Revenue Act, the Indemnity Act, the Commissioners of Customs. I I'm beginning to not like these. They're too wonky. And they don't even really follow a good path. I hate you, Almanac. You're stupid. Hmm, there's no other guys around. Who spoke on our behalf? Our <laughs> I knocked him in there! That's cool! That they're kind of physics-based. That's cool, it's kind of physics-based, and I love that. Hello there, I have some, uh... Shit I'd like to buy. I heard a knife, I think. I need the items on this list. And deliver to a cart. With coin or trade. I've got coin here. He smiled weirdly. Some of these things I have, some I don't. Lumber's hard to come by since my supplier up and vanished. I have the tools and pitch, though. Nails, too. Uh, where do you want this delivered? Our wagon is near the state house. The cinematography was weird there. Can I interact with that door? Only this door. I should return to Achilles. Who stands in Parliament for Everyone! Battle? Come with us! We've heard enough! Ragtag and Riffraff, come with me! We're headed to the customs house and toss some quips at the lobsters. <laughs> the lobsters! What happened? That's what we're going to find out. Follow me. With me! To King Street! We'll show them! Some people are just rightly fighting. <laughs> Some lobsters, others not. Don't help them or anything. Is this the start? Is it the, uh... Throwing the tea into the the bay. The Boston Tea Party. I say again, disperse. Congregating in this manner is forbidden. We're not going anywhere, bug. Oi. Why don't you go back to England? No good <laughs> can come of this. The classic go back to your own country. Which 
Eve's trouble is sure to follow. And we're not ready. Alright. This crowd is a powder keg. We can't allow him to light the fuse. But but nothing. Do as I say and go. Tail his man. Do I have any bonuses? It's not what I wanted. I wanted to just look at the bonuses. Damn you. Bonuses. Nope, nothing. Hey, lobster! Go ahead! Fire your little gun! You bet back from some bacon face soap! I just go spike this shit on you! Tail, the suspicious man. I like that I can blend in with people going the opposite direction. He's doing the dosi -si do I don't like it. The game's broke. Boy, you there. What's all the fuss about? Fire at the townhouse. So that's what he's been meaning to say the entire time. So there's been a fire at the townhouse. He didn't even seem suspicious of me. Don't mind me, man. You climbing? I can climb too. Don't look down at nothing. This is highly not nice. These are foldable ladders. He's gonna shoot somebody, isn't he? I say take him out now. Game, game, game. Game's not letting me do shit. The game didn't let me move past that seam. I tried to go left and it's just like, no, you don't get to. That's so dumb, game. Why? Why couldn't I move past it? Ah, oh, great, we're back here. And <laughs> the game loaded before the loading screen. That amuses me. Hello, I want to argue with you. Now he can do the do, -si -do for five million years before going on. Do I need to get onto the card again for him to activate, or will he activate after a few rounds of this do, -si -do? That just amuses me. Don't mind me, I'm just walking by, suspicious man. And I guess he had to make up for not activating his searching protocol the last time. I wonder why that 15 seconds pops up again and again. I don't exist. Game, game. The game, won't, again, won't let me move past that seam! Why? Also, he had different movement that time. He decided to turn around instead of keeping on like he did before, which is dumb. Why is the game jackass? I should punch that lady for existing. I'll steal from you. So getting closer does seem to activate him faster. I don't exist. <laughs> How dare you detect me? I come for you. Again, I killed him despite not having hidden blade yet. 
I would have gotten it on the first one if he wasn't weird and like, oh, I'm going to turn around and then the seam won't let you move. That's just dumb. Why is this mission so borked? At least there's no bonus objective just yet, because that would just make it super bonked. Why is he following me now, game? At least he's not smart, thank god. And he'll turn around. Maybe he'll turn around a second time. Maybe he'll turn around on the roof. It's hard to tell with this guy. He seems to turn around randomly. I should shoot him with my bow and arrow for his hubris. Alright, so new plan is wait at just below the ladder. So if he turns around... So I guess he, like, walked ahead further, then turned around for his ladder check, maybe? Maybe that's what happened? But yeah, it's so weird that, like, that seam, that accursed seam... Even wait to see if anybody was actually hit. That's wholly unnecessary. All right, so escape within the given time. Jerk. There's a bunch of dudes. Hopefully he wasn't shot. It was like the first guy that was shot. Guards will recognize you and attack on sight. Because of my father. This icon indicates you have reached notoriety level 2. The Boston Massacre. Is this where I earn my... Assassin Stripes? I wonder why that has, like, a yellow around it. Oh, because he... Hmm, I don't know. Let me check my map. Oh, new item. Alright. I have some money. Let's see if I can buy anything. Or Leela would be like, you're no, ro you're notorious. Get the fuck out. That is not the voice you had before. Small weapons. I need more of that. Stone, iron, stone dagger. Crafting recipe can be found in a chest in sequence nine. That seems to be like most of these. Gunstock war barrels, like a bunch of things I can't buy. I can't even buy the French rapier. Lincoln sword? <laughs> Replica. Very interesting. Ah, but I can buy maps. That are expensive. 
Hmm. What about outfits? Nope, can't buy any. I just wanted to buy things. I can sell some of these. Maybe ah, we should hold on to them. It's not like I can actually get much. The game is obviously holding off on like, me doing things, so shouldn't get greedy. What's this? I can pick it up. Interesting. And then I can throw it. Hopefully Achilles wasn't, like, the first guy shot. During the Boston Massacre. Over here. Samuel Adams. Where's Achilles? You're Achilles, boy. Connor, was it? I saw what happened at the townhouse. A fine mess, that. Who are you? Samuel Adams, at your service. Name's Achilles familiar. Asked to you out of Boston. Explain. <laughs> the whole city's looking for you. And he does. Uh, oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! A criminal stalks the streets. Not a bad likeness. Hair's longer for some reason. Do. <laughs> Just tear it down. Yeah. You can take down these posters for a start. Return to me once you remove the others. That's amusing. So it's introducing the notoriety system that just didn't exist before. Now enemies will attack you on sight. I thought that was like the previous one. seen together until these posters are gone. Hmm. Come with me. Basically, it's just an... They'll never see me coming. Not wrong. <laughs> what if it was all madness? Ah, oh, shit. It's a lot of these guys. Enemies will detect me. <laughs> but now that we're kind of safe. Dear God, that's a lot of almanacs. Boston Brawlers. Delivery request. There's a lot of shit that I can do maybe now. Hmm. I guess I'll at least head over there to maybe do that. Depends on, like, let's see if they'll, like, notice me. Oh, they'll notice me. But they, like, uh, are slower on the uptake. So maybe I could just run past them. Yeah, they're really slow on the uptake there. Probably because they're busy. Nice. All because they forget my face. But I wonder how the, like, notoriety system works in this one. Well, uh, sorry, homeless man.
I was chasing an almanac, so if that killed you... Boo for you. Somehow I lived. I shall climb this building. My question is, it's been like, what, 18 years since these almanacs, like, vanished from poor, <laughs> the poor man? How are they all just hanging around in readable condition? Oh, so Samuel Adams. The name thing seems familiar. Could just be American history, or maybe I actually know him. Could have sworn there was a Samuel earlier in the game. I am mad. Don't you see? See me at the Boston Massacre? It's not entirely what I wanted. Oh, you bastard. What if I don't want to get down? Get down with my bad self. I don't think I've locked on. Lock on. Oh, they brought those back. They've been missing for a while. A little just hideaway gardens. I need to climb buildings early so I can maybe get to it before it flies away too much. I find it funny. His name is Samuel Adams, but it shortens it to Sam. I think it said maybe something about having completed an almanac, but I didn't read. Or maybe it's just repeating. You know nothing. Just go to sleep. I'll just take all your shit. I'll take your pittance of a salary with me. If you can't defend your salary, you fool. Sucks to be you. I do like that I can run by... And they don't, like, super hone in on me. And a collectible. New invention recipe unlocked. <laughs> the Franklin stove! He needs almanac pages to gang a stove? You want to go? And then they run up. Oh. You fool! How dare you? Get hatcheted. Hatchet! Hatchet! And mini knife. Interesting. They don't really tell, give you any feedback on how notorious you are. It just kind of happens. Uh. 
Bet he didn't see that coming. Random guy tackles you. Beats you up. But now that I've gone back up, uh... A notoriety. We can obviously head back. You don't see me. I'm invisible. It's almost like they know I exist. They're interested in me, but they'll never find me! Hello, drunk. I'll steal from you. Right in front of your face. I don't think I got anything because he was poor. And I don't think the game expected me to get into a fight so soon after. So I can't find any other... Like, mug shots to tear down. Probably. I wonder if that'll fuck up the game. And if I'll have to restart the mission. I can see that happen. He's like, oh, your known variety's up, so we can't be seen together. Ah, Connor. There you are. I'd like you to are com meet oh. <laughs> is it is he the killer? Yeah. <laughs> Keys. Cyrus is on our side, or rather, for the right price he will be. Have you seen this man? Watch and learn. He's gonna go punch some dudes. <laughs> oh yay, that's oi. That the man responsible for today's shooting may have been in disguise. A wig and makeup pin were found near the scene of the crime. Witnesses describe a Come to think of it, how did they get a sketch that fast? Fleeing towards the wharf, rifle in arm. Thank you kindly, Cyrus. Pleasure. Come Ten. on, man. There's still one last bit of work to do. Yeah, how did they get a sketch that far? Where are we going? To the printer. Where do you think all those posters came from? They're made do not raise machine. notoriety to level three. We need to shut it down. Um, I'm following you. Oh no, you're following me. For some reason, I thought I was following you. How was I supposed to know? Warning, stay close to allies, but I'm being chased. Screw you, game. I'm on the run for my life. Ally was not lost. I was clearly doing exactly what he wanted. Go across the rooftops. But no, he was holding a conversation. Where are we going? To the printer. It's not my fault they had a piss poor barricade. We need to shut it down. Damn it, we're too late. They've set up a checkpoint. Come on. This way. I can go by rooftop and meet you there. No. Better you learn about the tunnels now. Tunnels. Ooh, tunnels. Masons have a whole network of them under the city. They're quite useful when speed and secrecy are required. Are you gonna follow? Um. Uh, activate, man. Escort Sam to the. Is he broken? I think he might be broken. Stay close to allies, but what do you want me to do? What is meant to be activated? This building? Arrow. Arrow. 
Arrow up. Arrow up. Leave him be. He's just a child. He's done no wrong. I literally killed them first. Unhand that boy or I'll see to it the whole city knows of your crimes. <laughs> he, that is such poor reads. I'm sorry, Samuel. Those are poor reads. Are you going to activate now? He said, like, oh, you need to learn of the diddly D, but he's not activating. Because we have to restart from checkpoint. It is neat that he has, like, unique dialogue, but, like, his reads were terrible. We need to shut it down. I find it funny that I have, like, a built-in, if I move. Damn it, we're too late. They've set up a checkpoint. Come on, this way. I can go by rooftop and meet you there. Which way? No, better you learn about the tunnels now. Tunnels? The Masons have a whole network of them under the city. They're quite useful when speed and secrecy are required. Hmm. So I'm going to assume this way is the way. Kind of weird that he just broke earlier. He's like, you need to learn how to use the tunnels. Doesn't teach me how to use the tunnels. I guess, yeah, the green tavern is where the tunnels are, probably. But it's just amusing, because that's kind of where it was set up to begin with. They set up a barricade, exactly the way we were going, where the tunnels are. So we'll just skip away from all the enemies and just go in through the back. I hear sparkles. I hear sparkles. I'm interested. I hear you, sparkles. I know you exist. Unless that's just like the... Hey, this is important. Oh. But there's an almanac game. How dare the game throw an almanac at me? And it wasn't even on the map. Also, this guy is very slow. What is he? A fake assassin? Praise the cat. The cat is adorable. Apparently, he doesn't like Samuel. Here we are, then. I'll see you inside. <laughs> I'll see you inside. Act. <laughs> Just immediate activation. How would you even get to level 3 notoriety uh, even if you like went through barreled through every checkpoint? Hold on. I could have <laughs> Part of me wouldn't have been surprised if the graphics had just died in pitch black, failed to load. The clunking is weird. Use lanterns to explore the underground. Use your lantern to light the lamps, Connor. They'll help us find our way should we get turned around. I wonder why they built these tunnels. Because they're weird. Interesting music. Yeah, why? Can't help but feel this is the wrong direction. 
I just wanted to explore, but fine. If you're so knowledgeable, why don't you hold the lantern, old man? I just wanted to explore. Who's even refilling these lanterns? Excellent. Let us move on. Like, surely there would have been. Much as it pains me to say it, we must follow the rats, as they often move in the direction of an exit. How do you know? Like, seriously, who built this place and why? I can barely see the rats down here. No lantern challenge win. Just drop the lantern, don't use it. Run around in the pitch dark. Well, well. You were right. I apologize for ever doubting you. No wonder Achilles has taken such an interest in you. It started when I killed a bunch of guys and then had my face blasted in. With a shillelagh. I don't suppose lock picking is part of your repertoire? How, I lived in a place that didn't even have locks. Was that part of my six-month training? Even though lockpicking is a part of... Oh, never mind. Here I thought it would be just done without me. Well done. The printer isn't far. Let us reconvene there. And that was a whole mission. Really? That one didn't even get any designation. It's just like, yeah, full synchronization. That feels silly to me. But yeah, if that one mission was meant to tutorialize tearing down, like... Tearing down stuff and uh, bribing heralds... That's dumb. You have failed. I swear, like, the dinging bells sound exactly like just a normal alarm. I hate it. What you got, stranger? Useless bullshit, I should shoot you where you stand. Or we're just gonna walk in and beat him up. <laughs> hey, it's the same guy that sold me stuff. Me, Sam. I know, but I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important, if it wasn't vital. Fine. Just this once, though. In the future, such things will come at a price. Resetting the type is neither quick nor easy. To say nothing of the cost should I be discovered. I shall not forget this kindness. Nor I. His work will see your last little bit of notoriety erased. Come. I'll show you how to leave now that order's been restored. Well, that was easy. And didn't really tutorialize anything. to see how it all works. Untoward actions will upset the citizens and inevitably lead to the guards being called. Depending on the severity of your transgression, they may simply search a bit before giving up and returning to their post. But should you offend them severely or repeatedly, they'll become much more aggressive <laughs> in their pursuits. I'm showing you three ways to turn the tide. Remove wanted posters. That's like retroactive tutorializing. Printer to create your own propaganda. This feels wrong. Why not just speak to someone and explain my innocence? You can't be serious. We counter one lie with another. Words on paper instantly taken as truth. And all of it without question. Oh, hey, you social media. Beast. Or have you forgotten? I merely helped you tame and turn it round. There must be another way. Something more honest. For well, when you find it, do let me know. But until then, we sculpt with the clay we have. My apologies. I do not mean to sound ungrateful. Quite all right. 
I was much the same at your age. You'll grow out of it. <laughs> and if I do not, if I... And just skip. Uh, he walked too slow. And too fast. The harbor master and he'll see you home. Thank you for everything, Sam. I promise one day to repay the favor. Oh, I'm counting on it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Even though it's, like, not really earned because we barely know this guy. Maybe if we met him the next time. We are being tutorialized this late into the game. Whereas all, all of the tutorialization that really took place could have just been done, like, five billion years ago. Now, if I want to, I could just, uh, do a bunch of, like, missions and stuff if I wanted to. Like, do the almanacs, the peg like trinkets. Hmm. Since we've been going for a while, I guess I'll just, uh, do all the little things. The trinkets, the almanacs, get them out of the way. At least for Boston. Because the game's telling me to leave. So we will gather up the stuff that we can and just see about it. But it's just hilarious that the majority of the tutorializing that we have experienced was done away with and like just done and done away with ages ago in the previous Assassin's Creed's. Just. Why are they so slow on this one? We're like halfway through the game, it feels like. And they're like, here's how you handle notoriety, a system we haven't introduced to you yet. I wonder if the beggar children will run away if I point my arrow at them. Like, half these people are not dressed for this weather. Hmm, what is this icon? Treasure. Booty, you say? Well, let's make like Foxy the Pirate and steal it. This shit is mine. And a lot of money to that. Neat. I wonder how notoriety, like, activates. Get knocked out, fool! I, s I do love that just punching dudes up against a wall, like, super knocks them out. It's still kind of annoying that, like, uh, part of the combat system has been obstif- I forget how it's pronounced. Obstificated? Something like that. And just, like, made bad. They do not care. They're just... <laughs> they do not care. The beggars in the previous games had the gall to be like... Or like, had the reasonality to be like, Oh, you're, you drew a sword at me. I shall run. Elect electrostatic generator. I saw generator, looked up, saw electron, like, what? Trinkets in the central of Boston. I want. There's gonna be like almanac pages that are hidden in the darkness that ha isn't readily explored, is there? Like, even though we went and discovered all of the synchronization points, they're just like, aha, we're going to have mystery anyway. Well, why have the synchronization points then? 
just... I was wondering what that drumming was. It was coming from Ugly Tim there. How dare you activate before I was ready to fly! But fly I did, and catch you I did. I will cross country to the treasure, gather you, maybe see the frontiersman, hibbledy biggledy, and then maybe look into the delivery? I don't know. We're just going to clear out Boston. My father only had to deal with four almanac pages. Did those almanac pages, like, transfer over to me? Was that, like, the only thing he left me? I could buy that. And what's that you have there? Almanac pages for Ben Franklin. It's the only thing my father ever left me. So yeah, I don't think there's going to be almanac pages in this dark area. But who knows, maybe there might be trinkets hidden here. All in all, I should probably just like use a online guide map, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they're fully hidden in the dark. Maybe not. I can't trust this game. This game isn't even readily available with all their bonus objectives. How could I trust the game to give me information on almanac pages when it won't even give me bonus objectives? I run through the snow to whatever the hell this place is. Hope you don't mind me invading. Your treasure is mine. What did I get? Money? Was that all I got? <laughs> and I guess technically a, like, hibbledy-bibbledy, you did a thing. They're not, like, at all bothered. Why do they have cannons here? This doesn't feel like a real encampment. I feel like an encampment should be in a place where you can, like, actually journey out. Readily prepared. So I have to clear out these sniper guys. But if I do that, then the... The almanac is going to get activated no matter what. You'll laugh at me because a child bumped into me. I'll murder you. I'm just here for the almanac. That's all I'm here for. <laughs> we'll talk to the frontiersmen because we're in the area. They recycled that animation. That was the same near-miss animation that the others have. I wonder how many, like, diddly-dees are recycled and how many diddly-dees are, like, uh, just, like, uh, repurposed, like, altered. I hear the drums even in here. I'll listen. I'm not one for sailing, but I know it's out there. Some call it Kraken. Others just a sea monster. They say it's 50 feet long if it's an inch, and it rolls ships for sport. You won't find me on the high seas searching for the beast. <laughs> That's a guarantee I can give you. But it's a riddle that needs solving. So these are like just bonus ones that I can probably just activate wherever. Kind of like the delivery mission. I like that I broke their formation, and they just didn't care. I'm going the wrong way. Get out of the way. Drop your box! What happens if I kill the cow? 
Well, it's a pet animal. Which is... For a moment, I thought you were just a T-posing normal person. <laughs> kind of sad when I'm playing an Ubisoft game. My first instinct upon seeing a scarecrow is like, Oh, is that just a T-posing normal person? Yeah, because... Hmm. Buttons. Alright, so that's basically a big ol' hey, don't sell things button. Don't make me shoot you, courier. I'm gonna eat your soul. Courier. Soul is mine. Courier. What? Why do they hate me? Why do they hate me? I just... I bumped into normal people! Why do they hate me? This is your fault, courier! Your fault! Your fault, courier! I don't- I still don't even know why they're attacking me. What did I do? I didn't do anything! I just like th bumped into a guy and then they immediately came after me. Uh, don't mind me. It looked like they were guarding that, but they just didn't care. Hmm. One thing that kind of annoys me with the almanacs is that they intentionally go the opposite direction you come from. So there's probably some optimal directions to go after almanacs in. And other ones are like, yeah, it's basically impossible to get if you do that. I just wanted a crash pad! Hello, guard dog. You are all a terrible shot. And suddenly they no longer care about me. Do you care if I point at you? Hmm, you kinda do. Wait, I can drop weapon? Uh, spirits. I can knock out the dog. Interesting. I feel like... <laughs> That's not knocking out. That dog is dead. Recipe acquired. Jugged hair. Playing cards. <laughs> I got recipe for playing cards. Cough syrup. Wigs. What the fuck was in that cart? The case. Torches. Bear pendant. That one makes a bit more sense. Let, me out of here. Let you out? Okay. Now I search your body. <laughs> your fifteen dollars are mine, and I insult your legacy by calling them dollars instead of euros or pounds or whatever. 
It's not my fault your European British money is stupid. Ah, oh, we're the British. We want a unified, like, money system for Europe, but we don't actually want to use it. These almanacs will be mine. All the almanacs will be mine, and Benjamin Franklin will be my favorite friend. When he's not being a weirdo about women. Carrier! Damn you! Your money is mine, Carrier! Oh, great. The damn almanac went in a weird direction. Climb up, please. It's gonna disappear on me. Because it, like, veered off away from the chosen path of God. For a moment, I thought I got the almanac. Damn you, I was right there. What do you mean, Fort Hill? What? Templars? Yeah, but I want to—I want to respawn the diddly D man. I'll save the fort for like actual stuff when I actually have like the hidden blade. It's not here. I take you both out. You're ugly, and I hate you. You all deserve to die! You wanna face me? How about I disarm you? How about I disarm you? You're ugly. <laughs> well, the almanacs are kind of stupid sometimes. But yeah, I'll deal with the fort when I actually have, like, an outfit. <laughs> Get punched, idiot! Don't mind me, I'm just punching a bunch of dudes. <laughs> they follow me, like the children do. Apparently bumping into children is illegal in this world. Oh, turkey. That's right. We're going back in time to take turkey off of the menu. Never even seen that movie. It feels like they should be guarding this, but they're just not. I'm just going to come all the way over here to climb, but force it hopefully in a good direction. I swear they go super speed when they really shouldn't. Oh, hey, the other one respawned already. Neat. In that case, I'm heading back there to get it. Not what I want. Oh!
He slightly jumped onto a curb. He's lost his senses. Whether it be like... Damascus... Italian... British... Why do I climb it kind of wonkly? Wee. I do find it funny that I actually I lied. Uh, Hatham didn't just give Connor some uh, bibbity bop. What's it called? Thingity things. He also gave him some uh, like locational skills. Because we also inherited his synchronized stations. Courier. Father Thatcher asks all able bodied men to give an hour of their labor this Saturday. No. No free labor for capitalists. The only free labor people get out of me is if it's something I actually want to do. What up? He was an ugly man, so I choked him out. He was a British and alone. You've heard of the young and the restless. Now get ready for the British and alone. For some reason, that would be kind of like a. Uh, an interesting, like, uh, reality TV show. It's like, you are going to live a normal-ish life, but there is, like, an assassin after you. And they will try to knock you out. So be on your toes. <laughs> they didn't even care. A guy Superman landing. Oh, hey. A window. Yeah, it's just a cutscene. Interesting. But hey, at least it's interactive buildings, even if I don't really see how you're supposed to get in there normally. Oh, because you're supposed to come from the other side through the tree. Climb faster, Connor. Leyden jar. I have okay. Well, I do believe that's everything except, like, I guess we'll delivery requests. We'll activate that, I guess. Because, actually, come to think of it, I think it's literally just a delivery request. I go up to him and I'm like, hey, want this. And they're like, sure. And they deliver it. I think that's literally all it is. At first, I thought it was like, oh, I'm supposed to have these. No, I think. They have them and they give them to me. I should punch you. I'll steal right in front of you. Give me your oak bark. I do kind of miss being able to tell when I become no notorious. Like, at least having levels like, uh, oh, you're this close to being that notorious would be nice. I wonder if I can steal from him. Ha 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 Ow. What? I, I, I... Oh, counter grab. Give me your gun. Give me your gun. Drop your gun. 
Get stabbed, idiot. And I see a courier who I think I'm gonna shoot. That's not where I wanted to go, game. I wanted his shit. Give it to me. His shit's now mine. I bribe you. I don't even think I lose any money for doing that. No, no, I do. It just it doesn't tell me how much. Which is something even Assassin's Creed 2 does. Assassin's Creed 2 tells me how much money... I spend on my bribery. Uh, for you to die. Just looking through, maybe I citizen mission items. I guess I need to unlock those missions. Really, I guess. Hmm. This will be my test. I'll, I'll look around for those. Let's see. Frontiersman. Why did that all activate? Oh, because I need to, like, uh, listen to them. Hmm. So it seems like maps just unlock ones that are covered in that, so. Maps are late game completion shit. Got ya. Maybe not for... No? No? I think, yeah. I, uh, maps seem useless. These guys respond quickly. But yeah, it seems like... Hey, delivery man. Or maybe... No, okay. So maybe these guys are just... I need to get them, and they're just like perpetual... Okay, yeah. I think I was right the first time. It's just like, uh, I go in there, and they're like, ah, we need these, and then I just perpetually can look for those items, and then when I get those items, maybe I come back, reactivate it, or maybe it'll just finish. I don't know. This design system is kind of dumb. Hmm, why is this, like, area dark? What's on this ship? Sure I do. I want on that boat. Boom. I want on this boat. I can't even punch this guy. I can't go super speed for some reason. This boat isn't even on the map. I do find it funny, I start to approach, they immediately go, oh no. I want to go home. Well, fast travel. I have to hold. Wrong thing, yeah, I forgot. A. For some reason I see X, and I'm like, ah oh, yes, that is the proper button to press. PlayStation controller. What, did they crash on their way here? So they can drop me off, but... I can't activate them from here. Or maybe I need to build it. Maybe I need to build, like, a... ship station so the pe ships will want to come here. <laughs> Raccoon came out. 
I added raccoon to my ship. So yeah, they are just perpetual quests. But I guess they wanted to give, like, more in-universe reason to exist as opposed to just, like, ah, do this. Which I guess is fine. Achilles, don't be dead. You're alive! The lost son's return. Is it your son? Did he return? Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good. But experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will. After the house has been repaired. But he's out there plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him? If you found him. You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full grown, who spent decades yep. honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Hidden blades? Hell yeah. <laughs> he immediately smiled. <laughs> <laughs> the look of sheer, like, <gasps> assassin gear. Hey, he cut him off. Who's Godfrey? Hey, well, I guess I need to leave. Help. And it said, uh, it gave me bonus. Maybe I have to go to the DNA tracker. It told me like something about kill it with the hidden blades. Hey, help! 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 Future, please help. He's going to die. What do you need? Oh, maybe that was... Maybe that was just a uh, hidden blade. Like, diddly D. It's like, hey, now that you have this, this is a thing you can do. You better not be leading me into, like, a, a trap. I will kill you. God, you're a fast little fuck. Why can't we recruit you to be an assassin? Down there, he's just past under the bridge. <coughs> Game, you literally set me on a rock. Will you fuck off and give me all of your bonus objectives at the start of a mission? A mod. That that's just that. Why do you hear? What the fuck am I supposed to do without touching the water? And there are just wolves out to get me. That you're going way too fast, game. Help me. Please. Someone. How am I supposed to save him without touch? Well, will you fuck off, game? Your design is shit right now. Uh, well, you could get to him by going to water. Fuck off, you made the bonus objective. Treat bonus objectives as if they are... You are a cunt. Maybe they expect me to jump over, but, like, they angled the camera wonkily. So, like, which way? Forward? Do I just go forward? Okay, this is what they expected me to do. It's not my fault the game wonkily didn't.
Fuck off. You asshole. Your design is terrible. Hard tack only for the designers of this segment. For the rest of their life. Hard tack and water. No proper nutrition or food. What the, what the fuck? That, that, that fucking thing isn't possible to jump to normally. It's like it's a badly designed thing. It's just too far away. It sets off my brain. How dare they? Help me, please! Game, you are an asshole and a half. Why? They shouldn't have that be a thing. It should just be like, hey, get to him at this number of time. Not fucking like, oh, don't touch water. Uh. At least there's a restart from checkpoint ability. Okay, they just Superman jump in random places. You will not be helped. You will die. If only because you only have five lines. <laughs> do not touch the water, except you have to to do the mission. But we're not going to count it at the end. That's what that felt like. This knob end is trying to say this is forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling? A knob end? You, because you are one. Come live at our home and build our home. One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. Just don't die anymore. All in all, that guy could probably have saved his friend with the speed he had running to the scene. So you're telling me this guy had the ability to be like, Oh no, my friend is drowning. Runs all the way to this building. Help! Runs all the way back. I'll miss the peace and quiet. But we can certainly use the wood. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. Is it a dead body? What is it? An asset. Totally a dead body. Wait, what the fuck are you showing me five million miles away? Uh, recruit new settlers, artisans, farmers to improve your homestead and help craft new items. Improving your homestead will give you new resources to trade and unlock new items to craft. Nice. Why is there an exclamation point in there? Let's see. Godfrey. Oh, so there is, like, maybe. There's a harbor master. Neat. Well, I guess we'll see what Godfrey has going on. Or is this just like, Godfrey exists? I think that's basically all it says. It's like, Godfrey exists. Good morning. Good morning. Don't die. No more drowning. We'll do this and then we'll end. Because it, it's presented itself to me. I want it now. Don't care how I want it now. We've got a settler to save. Who needs to build a brotherhood when you can build a homestead? And look funky while you run in snow. 
Yeah, it's just like, with the, I find it hilarious when they give you the, uh, the bibbity bop, the hidden blades, it just pops up the, like, hey, uh, you have a mission, like, bonus objective thingy that you can do on your off time. You can go and kill a bear with your uh, assassin blades. And I thought that that was going to tie into the guy knocking on our door. Like, ah, oh, we have to go and, uh, save the man from a bear. No, it was a river. Somehow I think the bear would have been easier. Did he just pull another? Oh, God. he didn't pull a musket out. Uh, I'll save you now. Why did they do that to you? Pull him up. Don't be a jackass. With one hand at start. <laughs> he, now he's not saying anything. He screams for help the entire time, but... When I'm actually helping him, silence. Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. Mean. Silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I had best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston. And then the massacre happened? Recently, but I'm not a supporter of his majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my woodshop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that. Don't die. Oh, we're gonna get teleported. I think we're teleporting. Can now craft level one goods. How do we level up this game? We can make barrels. Go to the DNA tracker to check the progress of the homestead missions and how to craft new weapons. That is amusing to me. Huh, so these are Achilles. Huh. Big Dave. Homes. Let's see. Unlocked by unlocking the Whittler's weapons. Training begins. The revolution, of course. Save the hanging from man hanging from the cliff. <laughs> Unlocking farmers abused, lumberers the fight, and woodworkers tools of the trade in level one, level three, and level two. That is funny. So these like unlock missions, I assume. Oh, and he just hangs out over here. Catherine. Interesting. Who's Catherine? Who is this unlucky woman who just magically got lumberers as a neighbor? We've never met. Who are you? Well, I don't know how to craft anything. I guess it's just like, ah, you have to do shit. Them. 
Davenport Homestead, Boston. Zones liberated. I guess that's where, like, the hibbledy-bibbledy comes in. I'm definitely going to have to wander around all this hellhole. Well, off I go to see the Lord, Master Man. We'll talk to him and then we'll end. Granted, that also means basically that if we go talk to him, he'll start a mission. Autopathing killed me. Well, I guess we're not really in a mission right now. I'm going to leave the Animus and uh, read some emails. Because we've gotten some emails. She's still up there, so maybe we'll see if she has anything to say now. Sorry, Dad, you're a little busy right now. I wanted to... I wanted to interact with my my emails, Rebecca. Not everything has to revolve around you. Connor's Peace of Eden. Interesting, the sphere used by Connor during his spirit journey is clearly first civilization in origin. It appears to function as some sort of temporal calculator. It's essentially a crystal ball, but one that actually works. This can't be coincidental, which begs the question, are there others out there? Huh. It works. I should hardly be surprised electrical impulses move from one pathway to another. You call them networks. Our word for them was more akin to road. It is yet difficult to project the thought from one medium to another. And it works. Uh, and yet it works. It works. It works. It works. Ah. Weird. I'm going to assume that, like, and again, like, that just did de deloaded and it is missing. I think this so far might be the buggiest... Of the Assassin's Creeds. But yeah, because like, Juno is up here for some reason. And I wonder why. Why are you up here, Juno? What is your purpose? Doesn't seem to be. Because I was instructed to go to there. Man, she just vanishes out of existence. Hmm. It's just super weird. Why do you come up here? Because again, she was near the Animus down there earlier. Now she's moved up here. Hmm. Well, either way, I do believe that that will be it for now. We've done quite a lot. We've played for a... Much longer than I anticipated. Game is engrossing, despite its jankiness, I suppose. We got a lot of almanacs. We saw the Boston Massacre kick off. We learned a tutorial thing, like, almost ten hours in, that we learned far, far earlier in the previous Assassin's Creed games. It's just ridiculous. I kind of get it because they're like, ah, oh, this could be a jumping on point for new players. Maybe. But the structure has been weird. The structure has been very, very weird so far. But... Again, so far it seems to be we're regressing back to annoying bonus objectives of a brotherhood kind of time. So like, ah, do this obnoxious thing that takes you out and you have to do certain things. Like, some of them are good. Like, hey, like, things that you want to do anyway. None of them jump out to mind right now. Mm -hmm. But, meh. There are a few that are like, hey, do it in this time limit. I don't mind those because usually, like, those are up in the air, sadly. Like, the ones like, hey, do this in this amount of time are either super easy and therefore forgettable or too tight and very annoying so nine times out of ten as a bonus objective they are placed as super easy so as not to frustrate players but then it's the more specific things like blow up the powder keg carts uh prevent the snitches from running don't touch the water which is again hilarious because at the end you have to touch the water to save the guy anyway and they just end it before you touch the water technically it's weird yeah, the nah, 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 nah. The story so far is a bit odd because again we're like nearing ten hours in, 
story wise uh, it feels like it feels like we are five to eight hours in for pure story and like the main story hasn't really kicked off I guess technically it started to kick off because we found Achilles and now we know like ah we have to kill these Templars so it's weird but again I feel like the game kind of lied to us at the beginning but they're like ah you think that Haytham is an assassin psych he's a Templar because like all the Templars acted like fine dudes they were all right and then the moment that we're not playing as Haytham, they're like, oh, let's instigate a, uh, like, a massacre in Boston. It's like, what? Isn't that literally what Haytham spoke out against when it came to, like, the bulldog guy that he killed? He killed that guy, both personally and for, like, his Native American lover, his goth girl Native American GF but then like only a handful like well handful of years like 18 years later he's like actually you know what Braddock was right I'm gonna kill a bunch of innocents <laughs> so yeah feels odd man like if Haytham was like all they had to do was maybe present Haytham as not that good a guy, and you think like, "Oh, we're just playing as a jerk assassin." But no, they play them up to be like, "Oh, they're the good guys. They're nice. They're reasonable. They're not mean." Moment you stop playing Haytham, they burn down villages, assault children, go on these grandiose speeches, instigate a massacre with a smile on their face. It just feels lame because it doesn't feel like, oh, these are the characters that I know from the beginning. It feels like they are no longer the same characters. It just feels weird. It would be a much cooler twist if they acted more like they did originally. So, yeah. It's... <laughs> It feels less well-constructed compared to the past four games. It feels more interesting than Brotherhood, at least, but... I don't know. They're throwing a lot at the wall on this one. And again, the setup to the story isn't quick and snappy. Like, I may have a lot of grudge against Brotherhood, but at least the initial thing is quick and snappy. It's just like, we have to, like, you set up in Montegione as Desmond, and as Ezio, Montegione gets assaulted, you make your way out, and then you start plotting revenge, as well as to liberate Rome. It's quick and snappy. This isn't quick and snappy. Meh. I'm still having fun, but it's a much more, like, it's weird. The annoying things are very annoying, but the good things are kind of a lot of fun. I just feel like this could have used... Like, and what's extra insulting is this is a remastered version. They had the opportunity to fix a lot of things, including, like, the aggravating part of, like, the powder keg bonus objective. They could have fixed that. But no, they didn't. This remaster is pointless. This remaster is completely pointless for the looks of it. And yeah, and the fact that it's bringing on over glitches from the original version, they delisted the original version, despite this being basically pointless, it's like, nah, 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 nah. it's weird. It's weird that, like, I kind of have a launch day experience with this game, despite the fact it's almost like the initial version is 10 years old, and this version is like 5 years old. <laughs> But yes, I do believe that that will be it for now. I've been Neon Icy Wings, and if you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. Edited content on my Neon Icy Wings channel. I swear I am working on things to try and make content again regularly, but brain and life, bleh. And if you want gaming content from me, you can come on over to Neon Icy Games, where I stream and upload gaming videos, as well as, like, the streams. They get uploaded here after the streams are over. And even games that I don't play on stream because I have a better time playing on my own time, like the Fire Emblem games, they get uploaded here. 
And if you want to watch me play games live on Twitch, you can find me at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. If you like other such things from me, like my little character in the corner, Art, I draw, and you can find me posting art on various art sites. Twitter, Newgrounds, Inkblot, Tumblr, Pillowfort, DeviantArt, just like so many different sites. And all of those sites can be found in my link tree. The direct link can be found in any like link place, description, bio to my link tree, or it is linktr.ee slash neonicywings. And direct links to all of my art sites can be found there, along with links to my writing. I've been writing again, it is much fun. As well as links to my Patreon, so if you feel kind and want to support me surviving to create more content for you, you can throw a few dollary dues my way, and if th th this should ever grow, I will try to add more things to my Patreon to be supportive, but considering I do like 5 billion things, I have no idea what I would offer there. I'd have to be like, hey, you are the people that are supporting me, here's a poll, what do you want from me? That is the bad thing about wanting to do 5 billion things, you, you have to cater to 5 billion people. <laughs> But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.